Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. A murder suspect pleaded guilty to battery of a schoolteacher after being accused of violently attacking his child's bus driver in February. Court records show Travis Lane Jr. was out of jail on bond when the alleged assault happened. He had been in jail for a year, charged with conspiracy to commit second degree murder in connection to a 2019 killing of a New Iberia teenager. News 10's Britt LaFaso spoke with the teen's father about why he says Lane Jr. should have never been released from jail. Back in 2019, Travis Lane Jr. was charged in the killing of a 17 year old in New Iberia. After a judge reduced his bond multiple times, he was finally able to bond out of jail. Just four weeks after bonding out, this happened. Next time you put your hands on it. This video shows Travis Lane Jr. and his girlfriend allegedly attacking their child's school bus driver. The assault sent her to the hospital. This is a, a bad guy that shouldn't have even been out of jail at the time of this incident. Lane Jr. had only been out of jail for one month when he attacked his child's bus driver. For over a year, he'd remained in jail, accused of taking part in the murder of Raymond Lewis's 17 year old son, Garen Lewis. Court records show a judge had lowered Lane Jr.'s initial $1 million bond several times until he was able to make bond at $100,000. Wow. Wow. The judge that, that let that happen. Garen Lewis's father says the courts made a mistake, but believes incidences like this one are making judges think twice about the bond amounts they set. They're starting to take a different look at criminals that come before them with, uh, with, with, with violent crime issues, and they're taking a, a serious, more serious approach to their bonds. They're not just doing these ten, fifteen thousand dollars, and you have attempted murder. In Lane Jr.'s case, he was released from jail on bond while charged with conspiracy to commit second-degree murder. Lewis says if he'd stayed in jail, he wouldn't have been there to harm the bus driver. Regardless, Lewis says he's relieved that the court system is ensuring the bus driver gets justice. It's good to know that Mr. Lane decided to plead guilty on all three charges. After Travis Lane Jr. pled guilty this week, the judge decided not to lower his bond. He remains in jail now. Reporting in Iberia Parish, Britt LaFosso, Caleb White, News 10.